I'm Rachel Moore, and right now on your 13 Action News update, Yoni Barrios made his first court appearance the day after his arrest for the deadly strip stabbing. The judge denying Barrios bail. District Attorney Steve Wilson believes Barrios was in town from California for a short time, but investigators are working to learn more about the suspect and a possible motive. Wolfson says if Barrios is convicted, the death penalty will be considered. And police are investigating a crash overnight near Lamb and Charleston Boulevard. Police say when the car drove away after crashing into a moped, the rider on the moped was taken to the hospital and is now suffering life-threatening injuries. And Asian food, culture, and arts. The Asian night market kicks off tonight at College of Southern Nevada. You can enjoy food, activities, and drum performances. This will be the first time the event will be held since 2019 because of the pandemic. It's happening at the West Charleston campus and kicks off at 6 p.m. and runs until midnight. All right, here's a look at your weather forecast. Over the next seven days, we're staying above average, but you can see a slow decline in our temperatures. So we're looking at low 90s for hopefully the last day this week. We'll see those upper 80s Sunday through Tuesday and mid 80s returning to our forecast by the end of the week. Kelsey, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website at KTMV.com and our free mobile app.